All right, hey, Honors Chemistry. So now we're gonna move on to part two of our worksheet. I'm hoping you were able to collect data from part one from the previous video and answer those three questions. And now we can move on to part two. It says you will need to record the initial and final values for oxygen and phlogiston and each of the trials order to complete the table below. So let's go to Lavoisier. All right, so in 1778, Anton Lavoisier renamed Priestley's gas oxygen and conducted a series of experiments in which he burned phlogiston, another gas known at the time in the presence of oxygen. All right, so we're going to use the scale and the volume to measure the starting materials and the mass of the products after. So we have a lot to fill in here. So we have mass of oxygen used, mass of phlogiston used, mass of product, volume of oxygen used, volume of phlogiston used, volume of product. So when it says mass of oxygen or mass of phlogiston used, it's our starting. And when it says volume of oxygen, volume of phlogiston used, that's our starting. So let's go with our masses here. So here's our oxygen. So we are in, we're gonna do the burn one third, right? We're gonna be in the first column. For our mass of oxygen used, we have 8.52 grams. So my mass of oxygen used is my 8.52 grams. My mass of phlogiston is 0.54 grams. So my mass of phlogiston used is 0.54 grams. Okay, 0.54 grams. Now my volume of oxygen is 6 liters. So I kind of skipped where it says mass of product. My volume of oxygen used is six liters. My volume of phlogiston use is also six liters. So my volume of oxygen and my volume of phlogiston are six liters. So you're not confused. I filled in mass of oxygen, mass of phlogiston. I skipped the mass of the product and I put in volume of oxygen and volume of phlogiston used. Those are all gonna be my original. So quickly, 8.52 grams of oxygen used, 0.54 grams of phlogiston used, and then they're both six liters of phlogiston and oxygen used. All right, now it, we're gonna burn a third of the phlogiston and things are happening. All right, so the only thing we care about is the mass and the volume of the product that formed over here. So let's get the mass of the product. The mass of the product is 1.6 grams. So the mass of the product is 1.6 grams. The volume of the product is two liters. All right, so two liters. So the mass of the product is 1.6 grams. The volume of the product is two liters. I wonder what the leftover oxygen and phlogiston is. We don't have to record this, but I wonder if it's comparable. So I have 7.1 grams of oxygen that um, was used. And I have 0.36 grams left over. Okay, so think about the amount I wrote down originally, and then think about how much is left over. So I know I, I kind of am splitting the table there and I'm kind of writing down two things. For mass of oxygen used, I wrote down an initial mass and then I'm writing down the final mass used, right? So I had an initial mass. So let me start this over again, reset. Initially, I had 8.52 grams of oxygen and 0.54 grams of phlogiston. That's originally... If I burn this, I have 7.1 grams left over. So how much did I use? And I have 0.36 grams left over. How much did I use? To figure out how much oxygen and phlogiston I used, I have to subtract my before mass from my after mass. You will need to record initial and final volumes for oxygen and phlogiston in each of the trials. So be careful. It looks like there's only one table, but I have to get my before and I get my after. And the amount that's been used is that difference.
All right. So I'm going to reset it and just do the math for one of them. So my, I'm going to do it for oxygen. So my before mass was 8.52. So I'd write that like on the side. So I have 8.52. And then if I burn it, oops. If I burn it, My aftermath is 7.1 grams. So before was 8.52, after was 7.1 uh, 7 grams. So that difference I write here is oxygen use. I do 8.52 minus 7.1, I get 1.42 grams. So that's the number I'm actually putting here. But to kind of have scrap work, I'm going to probably write that number, like I'm going to write all those numbers here. And I could do the same thing for phlogiston. And then the only thing I have to record for the mass of product is 1.6 grams. And I'm going to do the same thing with volume. So originally we had six liters in both. Originally we had six liters in both. And now I have five liters of oxygen left over. And I have four liters of phlogiston left over. So if I'm doing the math for this, if I had six liters of oxygen and now I have five liters left over, that means I used one liter of oxygen. So the volume of oxygen used is one liter. If I started with six liters of phlogiston and I have four liters left, that means I used two liters of phlogiston. So that's what I'm writing in that first column. And then my volume of product is two liters. All right, so let's try and do the burning two thirds now. So my starting mass, still 8.52. All of these are gonna have the same starting masses, okay? So you can even write that down on the side somewhere. All of these are having the same starting masses. So 8.52 grams of oxygen and 0.54 grams of the phlogiston. And now I'm going to heat it up. And I'm using two thirds of the phlogiston. And now I have 5.68 grams left over. So if I want to find how much oxygen is used, I got to do that subtraction. So 8.52 minus 5.68, I should have 2.84 grams that are left over. And then I have. 0.18 grams phlogiston left over. So I have to subtract my original amount of phlogiston from what's left over to get how much phlogiston was used. And then I'm just going to record my mass of product, which is 3.2 grams. So my mass of product is 3.2 grams. My volume, I have four liters of oxygen that's left over. I started with six, I ended with four. I used two liters of oxygen. I have two liters of phlogiston left over. I started with six. I have two liters left over. So on that space on that line, I'm writing four liters of phlogiston were used. And I made four liters of product. So all of that information is going in my second column. And then it says, burn all the phlogiston. Oh, oops, I keep on touching the wrong thing. Burn the phlogiston. So if I burn all of the phlogiston, now I have no phlogiston left over. So that means I use all of that 0.52 or 0.54, whatever it was before. I have 4.26 grams of oxygen left over. And I started with 8.52 grams, and I used 4.26. So I used 4.26 grams. So I started with 8.52 grams, and I used 4.26 grams. How did I know that? I started with 8.52. I got 4.26 grams left. And so if I take the difference between how much I had and how much I have left over, that's how much I used. So 4.26 grams of oxygen were used. So that's what I'm putting in the 
top right hand corner. So 4.26 grams of oxygen were used right here. Okay. I have no phlogiston left over. So I used all of my phlogiston. So whatever my starting materials are. I have 4.8 grams of product. So my mass of product that I'm going to put in the third column, third row down, I'm putting 4.8 grams. For my volumes, three liters of oxygen are left over. That means I started with six liters. I have three liters left over. That means I must have used three liters. And then I have no liters or zero liters left of phlogiston. I started with six liters. I must have used all six liters of phlogiston. And I made six liters of, a, of my product. So it's looking like however many liters of my phlogiston I used, that's how many liters of product I make. That's interesting. So I have six liters of product. So I'm going to reset this. Just so you know what numbers to use in the beginning, in every one of these, we always started with 8.52 grams of oxygen, and we always started with 0.54 grams of phlogiston. So if I want to figure out how much is used, whatever happened in the reaction, let's say I'm going to burn two-thirds of it, whatever happened in the reaction, I want to take that before mass, and subtracted from my after mass. So I had 0.54 and I have 0.18 left over in grams. So if I take that subtraction, 0.54 minus 0.18, that would have been 0.36 grams. This was the burn two thirds. So if you did this math correctly before, for the mass of phlogiston used, you should have written 0.36 grams. If you have issues with doing any of this math or any of this data, let me know, and I'll have to post a separate video. And so now what I want you to do is, recording and having all of this data, I want you to answer questions one and two with relation to the volumes of the gases and what specific proportion did oxygen react with phlogiston? How did the mass of the gas in all three vessels before burning compare to the mass of the vessels, uh, mass of the vessels after, or the mass after? Okay, so be on the lookout for part three video. Hopefully this part two video was able to give you a nice data table to answer those two questions.